Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. On this video we're going to be creating a, another React Navbar, but this time we're going to be using uh, the Bootstrap library. So in the last uh, tutorial we were creating a Navbar, but we were using a different library, which was the Style Components library. And the final product or the final result was this. So this is the uh, Navbar that we created. As you can see, uh, if you know, if I just minimize the screen and just make it smaller, you see that the options just go away, like the, the nav links just disappear. So it's not very responsive. And if you want to change like the, let's change it to phone, right? Like uh, to the dimensions of a phone. And as you can see, it also disappears. So it's not very responsive. So we don't want this. It was just a way to show you how to create a nav bar. And of course you have to add like a ton of CSS just to make it responsive. So we'll just, uh use the the bootstrap library just to simplify all this process and um i'll show you how to do it now Fine. so so what you want to do is just issue, issue the following command so npm install react uh, dash bootstrap and then bootstrap again and then just install this so this is going to install our uh, the bootstrap library which is what we need to create the nav bar all right, so once the library has been installed, the next thing that you, we want to do is go to component. And we're going to create a new file, which is going to be called navbar and then bs.js. And it stands for bootstrap and not the other thing that you're thinking about. And just make sure that's inside of the navbar uh, library here. All right, so once we have this, we're going to import some of the things that we need for our navbar to function, which is... Um, just import navbar, comma nav, and then container. And we're gonna import all of these fr uh, from the from the library that we just installed, which is the React Bootstrap. All right. So once we have uh, the import, what we wanna do is. All right. So we're just gonna set up our component here, and then we'll have the following. Then we'll have the return, of course. All right, so then we're just gonna come to Google and you're just gonna tap uh, React Bootstrap Navbar, and that should take you to the navbars that they have. And we're just gonna copy one of them. So in this case, let's see. We'll just take this simple one here, and this one has three of them. So we'll just uh, we'll clean it up. So just paste it here, and then just get rid of the ones that you don't you don't want. So we don't want this, we don't want this one. So this uh, that's the first one. The dark one is the one that we want. All right, so we're just gonna save it. Next thing that you wanna do is go to app.js and here we're gonna get rid of this nav bar, which is the, the one that we were using before. And let's get rid of this import as well. And here we're just gonna, we're gonna have the new nav bar, which is uh, Nav bar bootstrap, right? So that's the one that we just created. And yeah, so we'll just have this one here. So let's just save it. Well, and it says a uh, corresponding, what's happening here? Nav bar bootstrap, nav bar BS. Oh, so it's because I changed this. This should be yeah, uppercase. Alright, so now it's fine. So let's go see the nav bar now. So once you come here, you can see that, you know, we have the nav bar. You know, it doesn't look really good. It's missing the styling. So if you get this problem, the thing that you want to do is go back here, go to getting started. And let's see what we missed. So we did this. And let's see, but we still need the styling, right? So this is for the components. So here, the style sheets. All right, so here, so you can see the style sheets. So the following line can be included. So you can put it here, or you can put it in the app.js. So let's just copy this. So let's go back and open index.js. I'm just gonna put it there. So under this, and then we're just gonna save it. And let's go back and see if our nav bar got uh, fixed. Let's just give it some time and see now you have the new nav bar, which is the one that we wanted. And if you uh, let's try to minimize it. So as you can see, you still have like the, the options here. So this is more responsive than the last one that we had. And if you change it to to phone, 
you still have the options as well and see and you can click on them so this is better than the the last one that we had all right so now let's just fix it just to show our uh, you know the home page and let's just fix the nav links and all of that so let's go back to nav bar bs and what we want to do is you can take a look at what we had so the nav links here so you can just um let me let me see if i can just put it here all right so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna uh, take the links that we have here and we're just gonna paste them here where we have the href so this one is just the you know home one this is also home and then we have well this is let's just name it home page just to keep it consistent with our last nav bar that we had this is about contact and blog okay and let me just create a new one here we'll just call this blog and let's just change this about then let's just do it for all of them all right so now we have updated our nav links and well this is the nav bar brand so this is like, like the name of your website so i don't know um so we're gonna be creating I don't know what we're gonna be creating yet, so we'll just uh, we'll just have like a placeholder here. So placeholder brand. All right, and I think we're done with this. So let's go back and see if uh, our links are still working. So you got update already. So we have the placeholder brand homepage, which it takes you to the homepage, of course. So it just refreshes it. You have the about, which is gonna take you to the about page, contact and then we have blog right so this is how you create a nav bar using a react bootstrap i think this is a good alternative to the first one that we created just because you know you have more uh, it's more responsive and you don't have to start writing the css yourself uh, or you don't need to know how to write the css since uh, bootstrap already gives you like a solution uh, you know you just have to copy and paste and understand a little bit some of these components another feature that you can add is the collapse uh, feature so you see in this case you keep getting like the links here but we want like a more responsive uh, feature here so if you look at this nav bar so you can just type react nav bars and then you'll get like a bunch of options and you can just customize yours so as you can see you get the button here so the, here you get the button to toggle so we will add that right now so let me just uh so we just need this bar you can copy the whole nav bar if you want to in my case i'm just gonna copy what i need and I'm gonna paste it. I think I have to, it has to go after the navbar brand. So I'll just paste it here. And this is the closing tag, but we don't want it there. We want it, um, does it have to, no, it has to go here. All right, so once you have it there, another thing that you wanna do is take this part that says expand, because otherwise the navbar is not gonna collapse. And we can just put it here. All right, and let's just save it and run it again. So this is like a warning for like a module that's deprecated. Uh, so don't worry about that. We can get rid of that later. All right, so see now it's working. So we have the nav links. So once we yeah. minimize and click on the toggle button, you can see that we still get the the nav links. So this is uh this is good. This is as responsive as we wanted to get. And if we uh, use uh, you know the the screen. To simulate the screen here you can see that we have the the same thing all right so this is where we're gonna leave today uh we have our nav bar it's responsive and if you like the content just you know leave a like leave a comment if you have any questions uh subscribe that's the most important thing if you want to support the channel and share share it with others as well thank you and i'll see you in the next video